right, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you about a couple of other ways that you can bring your vector files into Adobe Photoshop. Um, so if I've opened it up and I've rasterized it, like we said um, in that particular video, but I'll show you again. If I click, hold down and drag, click and drag, just keep holding down your mouse, and then you go up to the name of your file, and then you let go, that's one way that you can bring it in. Another way that you can bring your vector into pixels is if you open up the actual Illustrator file itself and you select your vectors and you go to edit copy, then you can go up to Photoshop, you go up to edit paste. And when you click paste, it's gonna give you this dialog box. And this dialog box, by default, is gonna to wanna to put it as a smart object. You don't want it as a smart object, though. You wanna bring it in as pixels. Don't choose smart object, because if you want to change it in any kind of way, it's gonna act like a link, and then you're gonna to have to go back to the original file to make any changes, and then it updates here in Photoshop. Just easier to paste it as pixels. It gives you more manipulation or rather, uh, not more manipulation, but it gives you a uh, greater freedom to manipulate it from there. Now, since the logo itself was kind of small when we created it in Photoshop, comes in like this, but I could scale it if I want. So I would just hold my shift key down and click and drag. And so that's another way that I can bring in my vectors into Photoshop. And then finally, one more way is that once you opened it up here, you can also uh, just go to um, select all and you can go to edit copy and then click on your file this guy for a second and I'll go to edit paste and it'll paste my pixels in that way as well so that's a couple of other ways that you can bring your vector uh, graphics that you create or not just logos but graphics that you create and stuff like that how you can bring them into Photoshop